Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we will be discussing about incremental line of Regius and neonatal line. So first of all, if we talk about the incremental line of Regius, these are the brown bands which are seen in the ground section of enamel. Now these represent the rhythmic deposition of enamel that is successive opposition of the layers of enamel during crown formation. Along with that they demarcate a resting phase in the enamel matrix formation. See what happens is when there is a formation of enamel rod or when the enamel matrix is being laid down then there is certain cyclic disturbances in the enamel formation which occur in every seven to eight days and this is what the incremental lines of Regius represent. Now the micro radiographic studies have shown that these lines there are there are changes in the inorganic content of these lines so these are basically what these are considered as hypomineralized structures. Next, if we talk about ultrastructure, then in transverse section, these appear as concentric circles, which represent the growth rings of a tree. Like this. Okay, concentric circles representing the growth rings of a tree. Whereas in longitudinal section, this we have drawn, this is the longitudinal section, how they are seen in longitudinal section. In longitudinal section, they appear as a series of brownish dark lines which extend from DEJ to the enamel surface. Now, there could be complete stri or incomplete stri. These ones are complete stri. What are those? These are oblique. They run obliquely in the cervical part and they course around the tooth. Okay. Whereas incomplete stri, they deviate occlusally from the DEJ. See like this. From DEJ to the surface of the tooth. Now these stri, they are numerous in the cervical region. Okay, numerous stries are present and they are very closely packed in the cervical region of the tooth. This is the enamel portion, this is dentine, this is pulp. We are seeing the crown portion of the tooth because enamel is present only in the crown portion. Now in the crown portion, the incremental lines are numerous and closely packed in the cervical region. Now from the cervical region, they, whereas in the incisal or the cuspal region, see incisal or cuspal region, they encircle the dentine completely. Okay. Now from the cervical region what happens is they extend to the surface creating a wave like groove on the enamel surface. See here the wave like grooves are created. Now this is known as the imbrican, imbrication lines of pickerel or the perichymeta. This is what is the perichymeta. Okay next if we talk about the significance as to what is the significance of the incremental lines of red CS means what can we conclude or what can we like uh, pen down after uh, analyzing the incremental lines. So first of all what does it do? The evenly spaced stride they represent 6 to 11 days rhythm in the enamel formation. Okay means ye weekly increment 6 to 11 days ka increment batayenge ki from here to here see this uh, this amount of enamel was formed in 6 to 11 days then there was a break and then 6 to 11 days mein ye itna portion form hua tha, okay so they are representing the weekly increment of enamel deposition next per day 4 micrometer about 4 micrometers of enamel is laid down so in a round figure 24 to 30 micrometer of enamel is being laid down in 6 to 11 days and therefore the incremental lines of red CS, they would be present in 24 to 30 micrometer distance. This is what this represents moderate intensity of incremental line of red CS. Next if we talk about 
the neonatal line what is neonatal line see the prenatal and the postnatal portion of the enamel they are separated by accentuated incremental lines which are known as the neonatal line this basically demarcates what it demarcates a prolonged period of rest during the birth the prenatal enamel formed before birth and the postnatal enamel formed after birth are separated by a accentuated line which is known as neonatal line which is demarcating the prolonged period of rest which happen during the birth of the person now why do they become accentuated okay they become accentuated because there is change in the environment first of all disturbance in the formation that has occurred at the time of birth the change in the environment leads to disturbance in the formation of the enamel okay next there are also nutritional changes of the baby therefore these lines become accentuated now one thing we need to understand is the prenatal enamel is better developed and is more homo homogeneous than the postnatal enamel why Be because there is a constant surrounding and a good nutritional supply to the prenatal enamel when the prenatal enamel is being formed there is a constant surrounding and a good nutritional supply whereas in the postnatal when after the birth when the enamel formation is taking place there could be changes means more changes or more alterations in the surrounding and also in the nutritional supply now these are seen in primary dentition and in the first permanent molar so this is it about the incremental line of red sears and neonatal line stay tuned keep visiting thank you